Okay. Telos is a low cap layer one. Really interesting Elliott wave look to it. I'm wondering if it can go to either a dollar forty or two dollars and twenty cents, assuming it can hold up. Okay, it's on KuCoin, not really high market cap, not investment advice, but I'm wondering if the ETH trade moves, whether or not the speculation that's currently in meme coins switches over to layer ones and NFTs and the metaverse, right? So if the speculative juices in meme coins don't wreck the whole market, and it could kind of hope not, but if they don't, speculation could move into big and small layer ones. Okay. RPL. Okay. An interesting coin. Taking a look at this, a lot of spikes higher, sellers active, a lot of green candles lately. Okay. Again, sellers are kind of keeping it down, but it's not falling out of bed. So this is really an unusual case of like a small coin that's kind of moving almost perfectly sideways with the occasional big green candle. So it's either over and sellers are crushing it, or this is something to do your own research on. Okay. Reef. A nice example of one of 2021's classic formations. So three cents was a key level and it was above three cents and then it was below three cents and then it was, it was going to break out and then it crashed. And then finally, you know, after two weeks of you being annoyed out of your mind, it pops, right? Upside target could be four and a half cents. Okay. So less an example about reef, less of, you know, um, oh my God, I have to get in on this right now because resistance probably at resistance as I speak. But the, the larger point is there are tons of examples of coins that consolidate around levels that you have to be a believer in it to hold it when it's annoying. You don't hold it or hodl it when it's collapsing. Cause I see a lot of that, but you want to hodl when it's annoying. Okay. FIDA four hour chart, really interesting looking diamond formation. Key level is $8 46 cents. Last time I saw anything like this was in polka dot, you know, before the rally started. So Forrest and I also talked about this idea that you know, when, when price volatility starts to expand, in other words, you get this coiling process. That's what the diamond is. So to the extent that you see this here, it's a nice pattern, but it's also a good TA lesson. And that when you see expanding ranges that can lead to highly volatile moves. So right now, even though a correction may occur, we're assuming the uptrend is our friend. And even if it dumps and you're watching this because it's November 1st. So if you're watching this four days later and the market's dumped, see where this is. If this is below eight, it could be a pickup. Okay. SLP showing up on smart money radar. It's making a base, meaning it went all the way up and then it crashed and now it's doing nothing. So this could mean that somebody is making a value play out there. So. People always ask about the bear market. You know, Jim Cramer from CNBC says there's always a bull market somewhere. And that is true. But in crypto, it's kind of funny. There's also a bear market somewhere. So if you want to see what something looks like in a bear market, this would be it. So I'm not endorsing this coin. I'm just saying that we do see inflows into it. And it's interesting because, you know, this base could continue for months or it could end soon. But the idea is things that are destroyed that go sideways at the bottom of a range are something worth considering. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. 
Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.